Grey Tiles and welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Martins. If you're new yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Starting with this video today, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos to help you prepare for your prelim exams and your final exams. So let's jump right into the video. The order of topics mentioned in this video go according to the ATPs or annual teaching plans which are published by the Department of Basic Education. So they decide the order in which the topics will be taught. Very important that your school may have covered these topics in a different order. So this video may or may not apply to you, but most schools do follow the ATP. So it should be all good. It's very exciting about this video is that I have made a free document for you guys where I list each of the topics in detail. You can find it on my website missmartins.co.za. I'll link it in the description below and I made it like a checklist. So you can go through each topic, go through the subtopics, see the formulas you need to know, the things you need to remember and tick it off as you cover these topics in class or as you study them. You can stick it in your book, you can go crazy. In this document, I also include information about your prelim or your trial exams and your final exam. So watch to the end of the video to see more information on that. Let's jump right into the topic. Our first topic is electric circuits or electricity and you might be thinking, but ma'am, We've covered this before in grade 10 and in grade 11. You're completely right. We have covered these things before. So my first very important thing that I want to say to you guys is you need to make sure that you go over all of that work from grade 10 and 11. Revise all the concepts, all the formulae. And I also want you to be practicing past papers to get familiar with how to do circuit calculations again. We do teach you a few new things in grade 12, however. And one of those things is calculating EMF and calculating internal resistance with a new formula. Now, some of you may learn, have learned this in grade 11. I know in the school where I teach, we teach this to our grade 11s so that by the time they get to grade 12, they've got it. It's just basically revision. However, another thing that you might learn that is slightly new is how to take this new equation that you've learned about and rearrange it into the form of a straight line equation in the form of y equals mx plus c. And you'll learn how to plot it on a graph. You'll learn how to interpret the graph, how to interpret the y intercept, the gradient and things like that. Can you prepare for this topic? The best way to prepare for the topic is to go over grade 10 and 11 electricity principles. And I have included a lot of videos in the description below and I'll try and link it above over here where I have gone over basic electric circuit calculations for grade 10s and grade 11s. Very important to practice past papers. I do some past paper practice in my videos as well. And I also have these videos on my YouTube channel which go over internal resistance. So if you are one of the people that have covered this already in grade 11, you can use these videos to help you revise. If you haven't covered it yet in grade 12, you can go watch these videos, practice and get ahead so that by the time you do it in class, it's basically revision. These videos will be linked in the description below. Our second topic is known as electrodynamics. We go over generators, we go over motors, we go over direct versus alternating current, AC versus DC current. How can you prepare for this topic? Well, I would suggest going over the topic electromagnetism from grade 11. And that includes going over concepts such as electromagnetic induction, go over Faraday's law, things like that. Now, topic number three is also a physics topic and it's called optical phenomena or the photoelectric effect. It does have to do with electromagnetic radiation or lights and it, it's hitting a piece of metal and there's something happening over here. You learn a lot of new terminology in the section and you do learn a new equation as well that you have to be comfortable in applying. So how do you prepare for this topic? Go over the topic waves from grade 10. Now, remember we learned about transverse waves and longitudinal waves. You learned about formulas to calculate wave speed and things like that. But we also learned about the electromagnetic spectrum and light. So going over the electromagnetic spectrum, electromagnetic waves, going over this formula over here where you calculate the energy carried by a photon or the energy of a photon. All of that will really, really help you when it comes to learning about the photoelectric effect in term three. Topic four, this is the only chemistry topic covered in term three according to the ATPs. And it is based off of redox reactions or reduction oxidation reactions, which you should have covered in grade 10 or in grade 11. In this topic, 
we go over the galvanic cell and the electrolytic cell and this topic is often called electrochemistry so in order to prepare for this topic as i mentioned you can go over redox reactions you may or may not have learned how to determine if a substance is oxidized or reduced using oxidation numbers you may or may not have learned about oxidizing agents, reducing agents, and using table 4A or table 4B. If you haven't learned these things and you're thinking, what on earth is ma'am talking about? Don't worry, because I'll be going over this topic from scratch on this channel, so please make sure you've subscribed. In my booklet, as I've mentioned before, it contains information about prelim or trial exams and final exam information. In the booklet, I very briefly break down the fact that for your physical sciences exams, so your trial exams, your prelim exams, and your final exams, you'll be writing two papers. Paper one is physics. It'll be 150 marks and it'll be three hours long. We also have paper two, which is your chemistry paper. 150 marks, it's also three hours long. What I've done for you guys in this document is I've taken each paper, I've broken it down into the main topics to be tested, the subtopics that fall under these, and I show you the mark allocation for each. Now I will go over this in another video to come in the future, but this is a very, very brief overview of what you can expect in your final exams and which topics to prepare for which paper and the marks allocated to each section. So remember, you can download this free document where I list each topic in detail and I go over the prelim or trial exam and final exam information. It's on my website, missmartins.co.za. You can find other cool free resources there as well. I am working on more things that will be published there in the future. Please remember to subscribe to my channel for help with all of these topics and more this term. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on how to prepare you for prelim exams and final exams. And remember to check out the description down below for videos to watch to prepare you for term three. I know you'll smash this. I'm there to help you. Best of luck, everybody. And I'll see you in another video very soon.